Uh, I thought, what the heck, I've got plenty of electrical bullets now, plenty of cards. You might as well do the full hog. So you can see the difference, so you can see all the road is wet and everything else. I've got my window open, of course, and... Uh, I'll probably have to take it a little bit more slowly so it'll take us longer to get there. But I'll be able to take little screenshots out of this stuff and uh, do it. So what my idea today is to go uh, um, up around Mount Bold Road. We've been there before late last year I think it was. Jeez, the time flies. About four months over Christmas sort of thing, this is it's just gone. I like that, let's do it again. Gone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I am a sound artist, don't I? A composer, would be one of your composer. <laughs> but yeah, as I see, you've got this sort of diaphanous mist in the distance there. I don't know if you can see it, whether I can pull the car over and show it to you at one point. But um, I reckon we'll be driving up in through the diaphanous, or, you know, up in the night time and getting into the diaphanous mist uh, up in the Profolia sites down Picket Range Road. Um, probably earlier, you know. Normally, I'd be doing that around about the third week of May. You know, like when uh, Stefano was here last year on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Um, yeah, flip year. What with the weather and the Category Five cyclone, it could push it four weeks earlier. So we, you know, we could be um, very late April, very early May. You know. So uh, yeah. I don't know, but um, could be getting the footage early than that means the season's going to be a month, probably a month longer. Plants grow longer, tubers get bigger, you know. Start of a um, 10, maybe 15 year wetter cycle, you never know. So plan your plane, as I say, plan your plane tickets now. Because I said, if it, if it does flip, you got a, I reckon you've got a five to seven year window to get, come here at the best of times and also to go to WA at the best of times sort of thing, you know? Because back in the 70s in my childhood, I reckon we we're right in the middle of one of those, but they reckon we we're right in the middle of a drought. I, and I said, I can't understand it. They're talking about, we had like a um, 48, uh, 48 degrees on Christmas Day 1977 into 78 and now they're saying we didn't even get a record sort of thing sort of they're splitting records they're doing all sorts of weird things you know they're saying oh we didn't have the right you know measuring devices back then and we're scaling everything back and all this sort of stuff and I'm thinking uh, you're just getting into murky waters there that's, that, keep that to your personal side of things in the scientific zone. Don't force that onto the public because you lose respect that way. You know, back then if it was a record, it was a record. Okay, it was a record with the type of measuring devices you had then. Why didn't you just say it was a record using these type of recording devices? However, and then you leave the, the however into the scientific road for people who, you know specialists in their field sort of thing but don't rob the public of their records and their memory mainly the memories you see so uh, that starts to become very irksome to people especially people like me who actually lived through those times as a child and we all cheered you know as the news came across the uh, across the radio that we'd got the record back then using your old and an antiquated measuring devices don't forget we we had pedifo pedestal fans back then we didn't have proper air conditioning so you know you, you, you try to rob us of a record in one area but it was another record in another area because that was a true sort of heat thing we were suffering that sort of 48 degrees with only pedestal fans we didn't have proper air conditioning so you know swings and roundabouts swings and roundabouts but please don't rob us of our um, our past because it's a bit like you know if you don't remember the past you're doomed to repeat it sort of thing so you know if you don't learn from history you, and I think we need to wipe the windscreen a bit sorry about that I'll wipe it occasionally yeah you should tell me speak up there from the audience say it's about time you clean the windscreen <laughs> okay just having a bit of a joke there
if I have it going all the time it just gets annoying but uh, but I thought you'd be interested in knowing the effort to go to and it's, just, it's good practice to know these things you know there'd be nothing worse than going to WA and, and getting a day like this and not knowing you have to either wipe the windscreen in a special way from the inside or something to get a clear uh, thing a, a clear image and you, 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 you maybe you spend a day like this driving through the Sterling Ranges because it's just that's just just the way the thing pans out and you get like six cards of total crap footage because of something you didn't learn back in back in here in the real world sort of thing you know practicing in the real world sort of thing and maybe it's time to start a new clip and you keep them short sharp and because as I said we're not going to get the best footage today I'm on night scene might not be the right sort of thing to do anyway over and out for now